Hi guys, hope you're all well. Welcome back to the channel. I've come up to Werneth Low today to test the Zastone ZT UV8DR. Uh, this is the Yesu copy, um, the Yesu VX8 copy, um, which I've done a couple of videos on now. I did an urban range test, which I was really disappointed in, um, and I am going to, well, I either will or already have, depending on when you're watching this, revisit that test and compare it to the Bofeng UV5R to see what the performance um, is like. We were struggling at sort of a mile, a mile and a half with this away from away from base, which is is, is really concerning, um, considering but other radios like this usually manage it. So I'm on high ground today. I've got a friend of mine. He's 23 miles away. Um, he's sort of behind a hill, 23 miles away. So I'm hoping I can get him up here. We're going to do a quick simplex test and see how this radio performs and then we'll compare it to the UV5R and see which one's better. But I sort of want to reassure myself and any of you guys thinking of buying this radio that it hopefully does work. And I think if we manage a 23 mile simplex test on this then we're not doing not doing too bad. So uh, yeah, I'm going to um, just quickly liaise with uh, with my friend now and we'll, uh, we'll get the QSO going. M0LX M3HHY Mobile, I'm on his room. Hey, you're on 3 hhy I'm 0LX, uh, returning to the game, you have been a now a little bit. So how's it going mate, alright? <laughs> Yeah, not so bad. I'm just testing this um, Zastone UV8DR. Something not right with it. I've, I've, I've got a Bowfeng with me and I've got the Zastone, right? And the Bowfeng will open all the repeaters as far as Land Dud know, so 70 odd miles. This Zastone's not having any of it, so I don't know whether it's poor output or poor front end. I'm not sure, but it's um, it's not not great. I've had like two watt 16 channel radios that have opened Land No Repeater and this one's just not having any of it. So I am in the car, but I'm on Werner Low and you're around 23 miles away, aren't you? So um, we'll see if that's any better on the next over and then we'll we'll transfer over to the Bowfeng. Uh, back to you from M3HHY Mobile. Yeah, no right, well, you're a steady five and three. Uh, good audio, signal three, so yeah. Yeah, I can do, yeah. I'm going to do that now, actually, because it was sort of cutting out on the receive there when I was moving the radio. Um, but I've got a Bowfeng on the seat next to me here, lay down, um, and it was receiving no problem. So let me just swap antennas, Royden, and we'll, uh, we'll see how we are. So the antenna could be uh, the problem. So we're just going to switch over to this... Um, I use these sort of generic dual banders, they're about a quid on eBay. Um, I don't know whether it'll screw in all the way into this radio because the fitting's slightly different, but we'll see. Okay, how's that? Yeah, the recording going again. Yeah, that's, uh, that's no good. The, the, um, the centre pin inside doesn't go all the way into the antenna because it's got a longer um, connection on the bottom, so... Yeah, the centre pin's not long enough on the other antenna riding for this radio, so I've just switched back to the stock antenna. Um, but yeah, I'll give you some audio, and uh, if you want to get a clip, I can bob that into the video. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. M three H H Y Stroke Mobile Werner Flow. Yeah, I got you very quickly before when you swapped the antenna over. Right, yeah, so you're still a five and three now. So what are you going to do? Go over to the bow thing, go. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll switch over to the Bowfang now. Um, I mean, you're, you're a decent signal through on this. Um, so, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what to make of it. It's a bit of a weird one. I did an urban range test and the, uh, the results were, were, were shocking. So, I'm going to redo that test and compare it with the Bowfang UV5R. Right, I'm going to switch over to a UV5R now, Royden. Um, it, won't be, it won't be a sec. Okay. What does this sound like? I'm on the uh, Bowfeng UV5R now. Well, you're up about one at the point, but your audio is not as good. So, did you say the audio is not as good, but it was up one S point? So, in what way is it not good? Uh, not as good? Well, this one, yeah, the signal's the same as well. It's just fluctuating exactly the same as the other. It's just, just, it's, there's still good audio, it's just a little bit more muffled, it's just slightly muffled compared to the other. Yeah, no probs. I'm, I've got to say, the actual receive on the on the Yesu copy actually, I would say, is better than it is on the UV5R uh, for some reason, which is unusual. Yeah, so it could be it could be a few things. It could just be the quality of the radio, the um, the receive sensitivity, or the antenna. 
Not sure, it's a weird one. Right, I'll switch back to this um, this Jesu clone again and then we'll wrap it up. Won't be a sec. M0 LEX M3 HHY. Yeah, it's a strange one. I'm not sure what to make of it. It was just weird it's not opening up um, the other repeaters. You know, it should open Landudno, no problem. I've opened Landudno on half a watt from, from here, so very, very strange. I'm not sure. We'll see what the uh, what people say in the description anyway. All right, Royden, well, I'll, uh, I'll say 7-3. Cheers for doing that quick test with me. Much appreciated. And, um, yeah, I'll check that footage out later. 7-3 for now, M3HHY. I didn't get a lot of that because my storage was full on my phone, but I've got I've got some bits and I've got enough for you, yeah. To be honest, I would say the bow thing's probably because you went back on the Zasto then, didn't you? Yeah, back on the Zasto now. So you can see I can tell the difference. But no, even on that last stop, you went up another S point, mate. Yeah, the SIG is the same, mate. It's identical here. <laughs> All right, mate. Seven three. Yeah, no problems. I think it's the receive. Like I say, you're in and out on the receive on this Zastone and you shouldn't be. The Bofang that's laid down on the seat next to me is receiving you absolutely crystal clear. It's laid down on the seat. The antenna's um, horizontal pointing at you, so strange. Okay, mate, cheers for the test anyway, and uh, we'll catch you further down the log. 7-3 for now from M3HHY Mobile, Werner Flow. That's on the antenna there. 7-3s, mate, have a good zero. Yeah, I think you're right. 7 3 for now. Right, so I think I agree with Royden there. I, it must be the antenna. The Bofeng did all right. Um, audio wasn't as good. Audio was good on this, but the receive from the antenna is not as strong, which probably explains why it's not opening the repeaters like the Bofeng does. So. That's a that's a bit disappointing, really, because the antenna is sort of made for this radio um, for two reasons. Firstly, if it's submersible, there's a rubber seal around there, and the SMA connector there is actually longer than the usual antennas you get to accommodate for this rubber seal, so um, it would be difficult to swap out an antenna properly. Um, as you can see, this antenna, which these fit all my handhelds, wouldn't fit in this properly, so... Yeah, and as I did say to Royden then, I have opened the repeater that's over there, 75 miles away, on half a watt, and we're putting five and a half watts out on this, and it won't open it and can't hear it either, so, yeah, no no long range test, but, I suppose 23 miles simplex on a handheld isn't too bad, so, yeah, make what you will of that, guys, um, I'll, I'll just pass it over to you. Drop me comments, suggestions in the box below. Let me know what you think. If you've got experience with this radio, let me know your thoughts on it. And the submersible test is coming very soon. It does say submersible. So it'd be rude not to test that. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'm, I'm sort of in two minds what to think of this radio. I, I, I do think the Bofeng does outperform it. So yeah, all right guys, 7-3 for now. Drop me a comment in the box below. Hit the subscribe button. Click the thumbs up if you haven't already and we'll catch you in the next video. 7-3 uh, for now. Zero X, 7 3 Mountain Yeah, I'm 3 hhy I'm zero early X, uh, returning. Yeah, you'd be flut flut fluttering there a little bit. How's it going, mate, all right? Yeah, not so bad. I'm just testing this Zastone UVADR. Something not right with it. I've, I've, I've got a Bofeng with me and I've got the Zastone, right? And the Bofeng will open all the repeaters as far as one does so 70 odd miles. This Zastone's not having any of it, so I don't know if it's poor output or poor front end. I'm not sure, but it's um, not not great. I've had like two what 16 channel radios that have opened one dozen of repeats, and this one's just not having any of it. So I am in the car, but I'm on Werner Flow, and you're around 23 miles away, aren't you? So um, see if that's any better on the next over, and then we'll, we'll transfer over to the Bofeng. Uh, back to you from M3 HHY Mobile. Yeah, no worries. Right, well, you were steady five and three. Uh, good audio, uh, signal three. So yeah, swap over. Are the antennas interchangeable as well? Could you put the Bofang antenna on this uh, on this other one? Yeah, I can do, yeah. I'm going to do that now, actually, because it was sort of cutting out on 
never received there when I was moving the radio. Uh, but I've got a bow thing on the seat next to me here laid down, um, and it was receiving no problem. So let me just swap antennas, Gordon, and we'll, uh, we'll see how we are. Thanks so much. Yeah, the sense pin is not long enough on the other antenna, Gordon, for this radio, so I've just switched back to the stock antenna. Um, but yeah, I'll give you some audio, and uh, if you want to get a clip, I can bob that into the video. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, M3, HHY, stroke mobile, Yeah, I got you very quickly before when you swapped the antenna over. Right, yeah, so you're still a five and three now, so what are you going to do, go over to the bow thing, go? Yeah, we'll, go, we'll switch over to the bow thing now. Um, I mean, you're, you're a decent signal through on this. Um, so, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what to make of it. It's a bit of a weird one. I did an urban range test and the, uh, the results were, were, were shocking, so... I'm going to redo that task and compare it with the both and UV5R. Right, I'm going to switch over to UV5R now, Roy, and we'll give a sec. Thanks so much. On the uh, both and UV5R now. Well, you're up about 1S point, but your audio's not as good. So you say the audio's not as good, but it was up 1S point. So in what way is it not good, uh, not as good? Well, to be honest with you, the signal's the same as well. It's just fluctuating exactly the same as the other. It's just, just, it's still good audio. It's just a little bit more muffled. It's just slightly muffled compared to the other. Yeah, no problem. I've got the actual receive on the on the ASIN copy actually. I was saying better than it is on the UV5R. Um, because the reason it's unusual. Yeah, it could be, it could be a few things with the quality of the radio. The, um, the receive sensitivity or the antenna. MX0 YHA calling CQ CQ from the county of North Yorkshire, the Yorkshire Dale. MX0 YHA in the Oscar 84 Victor Bravo locator for Tempest Romanus and the Robin Hood Award. MX0 YHA listening. Sorry about that, just someone calling on two meters. 20 EVD, would you like to QSY 5375 please? Here's QS wide. Right, okay. Well, I've got all the footage. Uh, you'll be able to cut some bits and pieces out of that, I'm sure, mate. But to be honest, uh, I'm not seeing any difference here, real difference, over.